Hi everybody, welcome back to Charlie and me, our camping vlog. It's the weekend again, and as you know, it's time to go camping. It's still winter, actually it's the last day of January, it's January 31st. So today we're heading on a revisit to one of the first campsites we went to. It's Ferry Bank Caravan and Camping Park in Wexford. It's open all year round. It's run by the local county council. And the new bridge has opened on the Waterford Wexford Road. Now, when we normally head anywhere towards Wexford, we have to go through a town called New Ross. For those of you who know, New Ross is just crazy at the best of times. We're on a bank holiday Friday. We could be 40 minutes. 30 minutes at least getting through New Ross, no matter what town we go at. So this new bridge should be fantastic. And I'm so looking forward to going across it. So we're booked into the campsite for Friday night and Saturday night. Deirdre's gone away with the girls. So myself and Charlie are going camping for the weekend and so looking forward to it. A little bit of road footage as normal. I'm going to put two bits of road footage time, okay? Some of you don't like the road footage. Skip to here. And there will, that'll get you straight to the campsite, okay? Or skip to here, and that'll get you to the footage where we're going across the new bridge, because I think that'll be a thing worth seeing. It's supposed to be fantastic. It only opened on Wednesday, and today is Friday. So skip here to miss all of the road footage, but just go to here, and that'll get us to where we're driving across the bridge. If the winds aren't too strong, I'll stop and I'll get some drone footage as well and we'll put it in at this piece of uh, road footage as well. Okay, let me get this guy strapped in. Okay, Charlie. And we'll hit the road towards Ferry Bank in Wexford. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that uh, the new bridge has opened on the Waterford to Wexford Road. Some say it's going to cut about 10, maybe 15 minutes off a normal journey. I know for us it's definitely going to cut 30 minutes because the last bank holiday when we were going to Wexford, we spent at least 35 minutes in traffic coming into and going through New Ross. Now we're coming up to a new roundabout. Normally we would go straight through onto New Ross and within two kilometers of here we'd be sitting in traffic even at it's half past 12 in the afternoon possibly not now but definitely we probably wouldn't get here till about four o'clock but now I'm about to turn right onto the brand new road which leads us to the new bridge which was named after John F Kennedy's mother if I'm not mistaken so this is the Glenmore roundabout as you see there on the footage you can go to New Ross, it's still a way through if you want to get to Wexford, but this is the new way. We would normally go that way. We're now going on to the new N25. It says here N25, New Ross Bypass, operated by BAM and Iridium. Ross Lair, 57 kilometers, Wexford 41, and Ennis Corti, 38. This is the bridge. I thought it was longer. It's um, too breezy to take the drone up. I was hoping to get the drone up, but uh, it's just too breezy. So uh, this is the bridge. Fabulous views down both sides of the river. I'd love to have got the drone up here, but uh, I stepped outside the camper and it's just way, way, way too windy. We're even being blown here and Charlie's not liking it at all. But this is going to cut 30 minutes off our journey, definitely.
So we've made it to Ferrybank in Wexford, Ferrybank Caravan and Camping Park, run by the local county council. At 21 euro a night for myself, Charlie, including electric hookup. I think it's tokens for showers. Um, what I'll do is I'll put a link at the top of the video to the very first time we were here, because this is a revisit and it's more of a revisit than a review. The motorhome crack are here this weekend. I was talking to Michael a couple of minutes ago. He knocked on the door and introduced himself. There's uh, four motorhomes here already and one is pulling in now as we speak. He said they're expecting a good few of the lads to come down uh, just for a bit of a meet and a catch up and say hi. So we might get a chance um, tomorrow to have a chat with one or two of them or at least when we're doing a bit of drone footage. There'll be no drone footage today. The wind is rocking this camper and there's just fog. I can, the fog is clearing a little bit now and it's 20 past three in the afternoon. So what we do is myself and Charlie, I can't look as usual, look. We're gonna get a little bit of food. I've started editing this video up as far as the road footage. That bridge is definitely, I think if you're just using the road going to and from Wexford Waterford, on a general basis, you're only gonna save maybe 10 minutes. However, on a bank holiday weekend, if you're heading from Waterford through New Ross, you're gonna save yourself half an hour by taking that bridge. And that bridge, when you come across the bridge and come out on the other side, you can go back into New Ross or continue on, or you can go out towards Wexford Ross Lair. You can go towards Ennis Corty. There's just a new roundabout, which has three or four different options, and it's absolutely brilliant. So a nice bridge, and it's Rose Kennedy. Uh, do you know what? Don't even, quote me on that one but it's i think it's after jfk's mum um, but yeah it's a nice bit of road work it was worth worth the wait and it's open now so avail of it if you can okay it's grub time and i'd say it'll be saturday again we talk to you again it's still uh, very blustery here in wexford a little bit too blustery to get the drone up but uh, it's supposed to with a yellow wind warning it's supposed to ease off a little bit later um, i've put a link already to when we were here before this is just a revisit i just want to show you the uh, amount of camper vans that are here this weekend motorhome crack are here they're a club a forum uh, a website we're very active on them both as the podcasts and myself and charlie this way charlie um, a lot of the motorhomes that are here have dogs and most higher most of them are tethered met one or two this morning that actually weren't another one of my pet hates anyway this place has bins to beat the band we're at ferry bank it's run by the uh, ferry bank caravan and camping park it's run by the town council and you'll see actually just here behind me bins there's i think there's 10 of those big huge bins there are two toilet blocks one of them in all the times i've been here has never been open and that's the block there behind us where uh, this block is open all the time and you can see then again another big bin there are water points all over this site the pitches are they're not the levelest but you'd get away with it without using your leveling blocks but you can if you want i'm really really hoping that the wind dies down uh, later on it's supposed to clear off around 12 o'clock and uh, it's only 10 to 11 now but uh, as you see here there's a bin there's a shore there's a fresh water tap and every bin has a shore and a fresh water tap and there's plenty of power points right i'm going to bring this guy for a walk and uh, hopefully next time i chat to you if it's for our wrap up or we might be getting the drone up Hiya. It's all your fault. Oh, our fault. It's all your fault. <laughs> Talk to me, why is that? <laughs> we uh, just got interrupted <laughs> on our walk by a chap from Belfast who, uh, I just heard his voice, this is your fault. He bought himself a motorhome after coming across us on YouTube. He'd been boating for years and now he has a motorhome and absolutely loves it. I mentioned that motorhome crack were here and I've just been chatting to a few of them as well and going back to the camper to get a few stickers to get them out and about but uh, thank you to the people who have stopped us here and had a chat with us and said that they're loving the channel and they're loving the drone footage and they're loving the content and thanks for your advice and your tips as well 
So the wind died down a little bit. It's still a little bit blustery, but I wanted to get the drone up and just show you Ferry Bank Caravan and Camping Park here in Wexford. So you see there's a lot of campers here. That's mainly because of the motorhome crack gang. That's a toilet block and a meeting block, but we'll get to that in a second. You can see there's wheelie bins there and that's where you go for your recycling. So there's the harbour. It's, it's just, look, it's beautiful to wake up to that. Let's just swing around and this is the campsite. We'll uh, fly the drone just down here and then take a look from the back of the campsite. There's 30 odd hard stands, all with electricity. As far as I know, tents are welcome. In fact, there was a chap here with a tent earlier on today, but uh, he moved out around lunchtime. But we'll just spin around here Hard stands are, as I mentioned in the video earlier on, are pretty level. You can use your chocks, but we're not using ours. So that's the main toilet block there in front of us, and that's open all year round. In all the years I've come here, I've never got to use that other toilet block, which we're gonna be flying up to now. In that toilet block, there's a camp. This first toilet block here on the right-hand side is a laundrette, ladies and gents, toilets and showers. This one here, as I say, I think it's just toilet showers, but the long building there, is the camper's kitchen and a meeting room. And you'll see as I turn around, there's a skip there because they're actually doing up the camper's kitchen and the meeting room at the moment. But beautiful views, very well kept campsite. That's Wexford City there in front of us. Some say Wexford Town, so let's say Wexford Town. And that's the harbor. I've got some beautiful photographs over the year of sunsets and sunrises there. But that's Wexford. It's about a 15 minute stroll into town. There's a children's playground parked there just beside where that camper van is coming in the gate. That's the watering area up there, fresh water, dumpy or grey water. And as I said, that's the meeting room and the camper's kitchen and they seem to be doing up the meeting room at the moment. So that's Ferrybank Caravan and Camping Park here in Wexford town. So Ferrybank Caravan and Camping Park, we managed to get the drone up, which you would have seen just a second ago. It was very windy. I got a wind warning, so I said, you know what? I'm not gonna lose this, so I brought it down, but it was nice to see the size of the park. It's a very clean park. It's a very well-run park. Um, as you saw from the drone footage, there's about 20 units here. Most of them are here because of Motorhome Crack Club. It's just a bit of a gathering for them. You would have seen in the skip, and I think I mentioned it, there's work going on in, that's a, a games room or a meeting room and a campus kitchen. And there's work going on there at the moment. They're just tidying it up. Because even though it's open all year, obviously the season starts around Paddy's weekend, the summer season. That is it. Thank you so much for joining us on this revisit with Charlie and me, our camping vlog, to Ferrybank Caravan and Camping Park in Wexford. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon. If you're heading out camping, stay safe, stay warm for the winter months. And we'll talk to you again very soon. Bye bye. Oh, subscribe, click on the bell. And don't forget the podcasts with myself and Chris, the camping crew, available on most platforms, podcast platforms. You take care. And we'll talk to you again very, very soon. Mm -hmm.